How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Foundry Channel and today we're going to be pouring some molten aluminum. Check it out. Alright guys, so to start this video I'm basically just going to make an obstacle course for the aluminum to flow down. So I'm just cutting some pieces of wood and laying it out in the way that I want it and then I'm just going to drill holes for all the pieces and then continue to attach them. Okay, so as soon as all those holes are drilled, I'm gonna take some hot glue and just glue all the pieces down just to make it easier to drill screws in to secure them in place. All right, now that they're all done, I'm gonna test it out just with some marbles. Alright, so let's test it. So as you can see, it works pretty well with the marbles. They go down and spread out where the blocks are. So yeah, I'm definitely curious to see what happens when I do it with molten aluminum. So let's do that now. Alright, so the first test, guys, I'm just going to use the normal piece of plywood just for a control test to see how the aluminum flows when there's no obstacles in the way. And then a little bit later, I'll try it with the obstacle course that I made. So I'm just going to take the lid off, skin the slag, all that, and then take the crucible out and pour it. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to pour it and then have the aluminum run right down into a muffin pan. That way I can easily clean it up, but we'll see what happens. Here it is in slow motion. It's really cool because it slips right off the wood like it's not even there. And I got a bit of an aluminum waterfall, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I totally missed the muffin pan, but that's alright. The good thing about this is that it's still pretty warm, so I can easily break it apart and put it right back into the crucible to melt again. Alright, so now that we've done the control test, I'm going to do it with the obstacle course that I made. So I did the same thing, melted the metal again, gonna take the lid off, skim the slag off, and we'll try it with the actual obstacle course. Let's try it out. Alright guys, so I'm just going to set it down and pour it right on the top of the obstacle course and see what happens. I'm definitely curious to see what happens when it hits the little blocks, see if it spreads out or anything, but yeah, I guess I'll find out now. Alright, you can see that it's really cool because it travels in a straight line as it comes off of it and then it splashes a bit and just separates into the next line. So it kind of separated on that first block and the second one, but not as much as I would have liked it to. But that's okay because it all flowed right into the ingot this time. So yeah, that looked really cool. I think I might do it one more time just to make sure the results are consistent. So yeah, I think I'll give it one more try and yeah, see what happens. Alright guys, let's try this again. I sped up the video this time, just to make it a bit faster. But I'm just doing the same thing I did the first two times. Skimming the slag, uh, taking it out, and pouring it onto the thing. Alright, let's try this again. So this time I'm going to pour it a lot faster, just to see if it makes a difference. But yeah, pretty much the same result. It split up a bit better at the bottom, as you can see there, and it actually all stayed as one piece, which is kind of cool. So let's watch that in slow motion. Yeah, as you can see, it instantly sets the 
wood on fire just because of how hot it is. But it pours pretty well, I find. It traveled all the way down and stayed molten the whole time, which was good. And yeah, it's split into two streams this time, which is kind of cool. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be the end of the video. What's cool about this piece is that I was actually able to get it off all in one piece, as you can see here. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment about what you want to see next on the Foundry channel. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye.